Hey there, everybody. It doesn't seem to be much of a secret that I really like these round hood wheel horses. I started my collection of wheel horses with just this one tractor here. This is my 1962 502, eight horsepower, eight speed custom that I call Putt-Putt. And back when I picked this tractor up, I never believed and I never imagined that I would have so many wheel horses, such a vast collection. Since I have acquired a couple more in the past month, I figured that I should do a little bit of a lineup video on just these 62 and 63 wheel horses. So as I was saying, this is Putt-Putt. Putt-Putt has been customized with an eight horsepower Kohler, a Cherry Bomb stack muffler, an eight speed high low range transmission, lots of weight, lots of traction, and Putt-Putt does lots of work. Next up here is Frank. Frank is an all out custom, which would be a 1963 body. It has a Charger 12 chassis with a limited slip rear end. It has a 10 horsepower shaker plate engine that has been mounted direct to the frame. The frame has been notched. The steering shaft has been manipulated a little bit. And that is to clear the oil pan here. You can see that there are many different belt guards that have been modified to work together with a lot of welding Peening and grinding and that belt guard is very smooth at the end of the day it's very flat and without the missing paint you could probably very easily skim that and paint it and make it look like it was all one piece the Round hoods never came with a hydro transmission, but this one has one. I had to do a lot of modifications. There is a block between the transmission and the toolbox there. I machined that block to bolt onto the top of the transmission, but then also give way for the seat spring to mount. The seat spring is backwards from a traditional round hood wheel horse. It's very similar to how a Cub Cadet would have been mounted. And it is quite weird when you sit on this compared to the other ones. But that's what I had to do to clear the hydro transmission. This has a lift cylinder. This has bigger 15 inch wheels and it has a tire that's about to blow someday. I do have another set of 760 15s, a little bit larger, to go on here if that does fail. I modeled the front battery box after my hanging weight that I built on Pot Putt. It is scaled to be the same size dimension wise. It's just a little bit larger given the taller frame, taller wheels and tires and so on. Mounting the round hood fuel tank to the square hood and later hood stand 
worked out fairly well and it allowed me to give the hood a three inch lift kit in the front and that's what it took to clear this big block Kohler. So this is my wife's 1073 by nomenclature. That would be 10 horsepower, seven meaning automatic start hydro transmission and three for 1963 sheet metal. You can see also on Putt-Putt that I have very small 8-8s to represent the eight horsepower, eight speed transmission. Next up is Poppy. Poppy started as a 1962 552 that would have had a starter generator engine. But I happen to have this K161 seven horsepower engine and that takes up the room in the battery box as you can see. There's no room for a battery there. I ended up making this rear hitch and battery mount. And yes, those red wires there are twisted in place. And that is my battery hold down. It has many, many miles on it just like that. And I have never had an issue with the battery. So we're gonna call that good. Poppy has very large tires front and rear. These are 26 12 12s on eight and a half inch rear wheels. The front wheels are 10 inch Commando 800 wheels. And they have these 18 850 10 front tires from a subcompact tractor. And you can also see I took some three bolt wheel hubs from the rear of a wheel horse tractor and I machined them into front greasable hubs. And that is what those 10 inch wheels ride on. Poppy is just a toy, just a show cruiser. I'll pull a trailer once in a while, but I really don't do any work with Poppy. I have some pretty cool custom pinstriping here and there. I had a buddy who does pinstriping and I just kind of gave him full freedom to do whatever he liked, however he liked, wherever he liked. And I think it worked out just perfect. So you may have seen Poppy before. You may have seen Putt-Putt before. You may have seen Frank before. This one here has never been on one of my videos, but you may have seen this 702 before. This came from Steve Asaurus, who is a guru of wheel horse unidrive transmissions. And this was the first wheel horse transmission that he rebuilt on video for the tutorials that are found on YouTube and Wheel Horse Forum Red Square. This has the hydraulic lift pump at has a custom wiring job so that way it is started with a key instead of a key and push button and because of that the push button was opened up for a cigarette lighter. We ran this tractor for six hours powering a smoker this last weekend. And actually the tractor was not running, it was running the smoker. And it still had plenty of juice left to fire up that Kohler K161. This also has very cool front hubs. Those are trailer hubs that have been shimmed for proper backlash. 
There are stacks of washers on the inside and outside. This one happens to be a C-clip front spindle where this one here is bolted in place. And that is just fine by me. I am infatuated with the custom pinstriping on this tractor. It also came with a grater blade and mower deck that were also pinstriped. They've all been customized with that yellow pinstriping to match the truck that used to pull these back when they were a lawn care service. And there's probably many more things about this tractor that I am missing. I'm very excited to have this in my collection. I'm very excited to do a little bit of maintenance work on it and put that HY pump into action. We did just pull the belt off of it this weekend because we were at a show and the input seal is leaking good enough that we just took the mower deck off and then I didn't have to worry about the leak. Now, I'm calling this one Steve 02 because it's a 702 and it came from Steve. And quite a long while back, Steve was making a joke with me that there's no reason to name my tractors. But being that I had little kids and I had to keep it kind of fun, we named everything. It was very hard for them to know which one was the 502, which one was the 552. But if I said Pot Pot or Poppy, they would know and so because of that I had a C81 that I just decided I'd name Steve just to kind of maybe rub it in a little bit just for fun and so Steve was taken and since I got a tractor from Steve it's my second Steve and it's Steve 02 and now we have this 753 what is not to love about this thing? It's got a 50 inch sickle bar mower. It's got this massive, beautiful and ugly all in itself, electric over hydraulic pump on the front. It powers the lift cylinder right there for that mower blade to come down. And then the lift linkage drops it to the ground and drops it into place to mow. This thing runs great. It has an eight speed transmission so I can run it in low range while I'm mowing. I put this cast iron Hoosier seat on it more or less because it was a good deal and it was comfortable. And I had this hood laying around and you might see that it's been modified as far as the hood hold downs go. Those are some crushed half inch copper elbows and the hood is just zip tied in place. Down here I was able to get a bolt in there. And then I put a little rubber protector on the stud for the battery cable on that pump. I really didn't want to be lifting that up and for whatever reason that interfered I figured that would not be great this is a power up and manual drop valve it works awesome I really wanted to put an HY3 kit on this tractor because I have one and I figured it would clean up the front end of that but honestly after running it like this it is perfect just the way it is. I do have a little bit of repair to do on this sickle bar. It looks like there was a weld that was repaired at one time before. It has since cracked again. And so now it is time for a little bit more reinforcement, a little bit more welding, and we'll put this back into service.
As always, I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.